everybody. Hey, everybody. One more day before my actual birthday. Shout out to all the cancers out there on PT. This is called PT Showbiz Top 5. I go from 5 and work my way down to number 1. I got my celebrities over here in the gold room. Every once in a while, they say something to me and I'll say something back. Sometimes I go in the other room and fight with them, child. <laughs> okay, welcome to the show. Huh, I'm so excited. Before I go any further, I must share this, guys. Oh, I got to share this news with you. Congratulations to Paula and her husband. They've already made their reservations for the cruise. Yes. I'm so happy. So anyway, she said they treated her so kind when she called. And she said this is a number that me and her called them Sunday before they tried to before they tried to close, but they had closed, I guess, early. The number that you need to call to 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 reserve your uh, your cabin will be 1-888-721-3225. That's 1-888-721-3225. Three two two five. All right. She said that it's, they explained everything to her. By the way, if you are a senior, they do do senior discounts, but you have to talk to them about that. But make sure whatever you do, make sure you use um, the PT Showbiz Cruise uh, discount rate uh, booking number. Okay. Don't forget to use the booking number. That number is three. P is in Paul. N is in Nancy. S is in Sam and 41. All right, all right. All right, I want to say thank you to everybody who showed up at Lou Nell's, uh Baby, when I tell you, when Chris or Baby had put that up there, I said, damn, look at all them people. It was so packed. Thank you guys for supporting Lunell this weekend. Honey, she stay on the go. I don't know where she's going to be next, but I'm looking I'm look on, I'm look on uh, HeyLunell.com and go check it out. Man, it was slam jam packed, baby. Yes. Come on, come on. Okay, I need to send a shout out to my kinfolk. They watched me in South Carolina. Um, and first of all, it's TT. TT, you know I love you. I love you so, so much. You're like a, a, a little sister to me. I love you so much. Beautiful picture, by the way, looking like Iman. Come on now. Um, I want to send a shout out to, please forgive me if I say the name wrong, Mivok. Is it Mivok? Mivok, beautiful name. Beautiful name. 10 years old, Mivok and Ziva for Diva. Ziva the Diva. Eight years old, they watch me with their mom, Cheryl. AKA TT. Shout out to you guys. I love you. I haven't got my package yet. By the time you see this video, I probably haven't got my package, but I'm going to go live when I get my package for my birthday. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Okay, so, all right, here we go. Showbiz Top 5 number 5. I'm going to give you an update on what happened to the rapper, the guy who was killed in Florida before he died, before he got killed. Showbiz Top 5 number 4. I want to talk about Bill Cosby. Some I didn't know this mess that happened between him and Camille. Ooh. And of course, show me stuff five. Number three, I'm gonna talk about this Leandra Johnson mess, child. Ooh, drama, 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 baby. Yes, come on, Leandra. And of course, show me stuff five. Number one, TNT. They getting into it, baby. Yes, Tamar and Tank. <laughs> she called him sweet. Oh my God. This, oh, let's pray. Bow your head, Heavenly Father, right now. Lord, it's a mess on a Monday. All right, let's get right to it, baby. Show me stuff. I want to talk about the rapper. Uh, XXX extension or something that I can't really say his name. I don't know who I'm talking about. May he rest in peace. You know, first of all, it always seems like when you're dead and gone, it's when you become famous. That's sad. You know, or become more famous. Or did you know that he had he had signed a ten million dollar record deal before he was murdered in Florida? And of course, you know his his uh, stream, his music and stuff shot up, and it's it's crazy. Just signed a Tim child. I hopefully, hopefully, when he signed that, he put his child or somebody, mamas or somebody in in that contract. Where if he even if he died, they could still reap the benefits for that. Listen, I'm gonna say it, and I don't care if y'all don't like it. If something happens to me tomorrow. My YouTube account is already willed to somebody that if something happens to me, I, somebody still, my mom or my family, still get the money from this. Because, listen, when, what's his name from New Orleans died? Um, Messi Maya? That was unexpected. He, no one was going to expect him to die. His views have shot up. Beyonce even used his, his voice old voiceover in her videos. So, he became more, more popular when he passed, you know, when he was killed. I don't know if the stuff was real to anybody or who's getting the money from them videos because them videos have over a million views and hits. Somebody's got to be getting the money. I need to go and check those videos and see uh, if 
those videos are monetized. I'm not for sure even if they are monetized or not. So I don't know. So man, this is crazy. Um, uh, but anyway, anyway, so make sure you guys, please, please go check out this story. It, it's just too much. Sometimes, you know, I just don't even want to go into something. I just want to tell you guys about the $10 million contract that he signed. I don't even want to go into what it's, it's just too much. It's just a sad situation, man. We got to stop the black on black crime and the violence and stuff. But what did you profit to kill this young man for what? What did you kill him for? What is it going to profit you and think stop being in jail and becoming one of the children? <laughs> Get over there. Anyway, <laughs> one of those, you know, <laughs> as Fred Sanford used to do. <laughs> anyway, yes. Uh huh. Oh, okay. How you being, Lamont? Yeah, they said they might be trying to do a Seth and the Son uh, reunion, but they can't do that. Everybody gone. Oh, all right. Yeah, we miss Fred. Uh, we miss you too. I heard you was preaching. Uh, all right. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> yes, yeah, child Lamont from Seth and the Son. Uh, did you not y'all know he was a preacher? Let me move on before I get myself in trouble. <laughs> Let's move on. Child, I must have been on vacation or something. Y'all didn't tell me that <laughs> Camille done left Bill. Ooh, y'all didn't tell me that. Yes, child, she done left finally. Well, she probably left a long time ago. She just physically, she left mentally, but not physically. You know, but I give her that much for staying with him to the end, you know, till she couldn't take no more. This is such a sad situation. It's sad for the women. It's sad for the men. Ugh. It's, just, it's horrible. Well, here's my situation. A lot of y'all are inboxing me because you won't probably say it, you know, on my feed, but you're saying to a lot of y'all are telling me, well, Peter, why come they was over his house at 2 or 3 in the morning going with him and hanging out with him and taking these drinks and stuff? I totally agree with you. When y'all knew that Bill Cosby was married, you knew that he was in a relationship, why the hell would you do that? Because Bill, Bill and Camille been, been together for over 50 years, so you knew the man was married. Now, that does not give Bill a right to do these things to these women, but a lot of times when you're trying to come up, he's trying to go up. Yeah, he's trying to go up in it while he, you know, while you're trying to come up, and that's what it was all about. A lot of these women thought they was, you know, he probably promised them this, promised them that. Well, you just can't put yourself in these situations. You got to not put yourself in these situations. That goes with men and women. You know, if you know that a man is married, even if a man ain't married, why would you be going over their house at two or three in the morning by yourself at that? You just, it's just certain things you just don't do. Well, here's the latest with uh, Bill and Camille. They say she didn't left child. She just took the whole uh, cleaning crew, the whole staff and everything. You know, they got that kind of money. Because <laughs> Camille probably ain't cleaned the house and since they've been together. Since they you know, he started making all that money, I don't know. Well, uh, they're saying that uh, he's going to be leaving his her heirlooms and the millions of dollars in paintings after his death to... Uh, he was he was promised all this stuff to his wife, but he's going to be leaving it to other people and other other, other I guess um, organizations or whatever. And it also saying that his book and film rights will go to uh, his sex criminal publicist uh, Andrew Wyatt. So uh, they saying that the family is not pleased with this. Of course they're not. Well, you know y'all didn't stand by Bill. Y'all should have stood stood by Bill until they locked his ass up. You know, a lot of people are saying he's going to kill himself. A lot of people are saying he's going to die. Some people are saying he's sick. I don't know. I don't know. But let this be a lesson to everybody out there, baby. Don't do crazy stuff like that. Don't put nothing in nobody's drinks, you know. don't. If you get some of this PT's punch, it's just going to be the PT's punch, you know. It's just certain things you just don't do because eventually it's going to catch up with you. So prayers go out to Camille. Prayers go out to the victims. Prayers go out to, I'm. you know, I'm for everybody to... I'm out, you know, I'm glad man didn't make me, put it like that, because if man made me, I'd be dead today. So I just try to be like Christ, I try to be Christ-like and say, you know, you know, Bill did wrong, but I, I can just I pray for him, because none of us are perfect, even you are watching me, <coughs> and you criticizing Bill, you're not perfect either, honey. Just a sad situation all the way around, man, it's just, she done left the house in Pennsylvania, and she took the, you know, the staff with her, the extensive staff with her and everything else. It's just a sad situation, man. I tell you, this is crazy. Whoever would have thought that Bill's Co Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby's uh, career would end like this. Whoever would have thought. Mm. All right. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to number three. As you guys remember, you remember um, 
uh, Pharrell and uh, what's his name? The other guy. I don't know. What I'm talking about Pharrell and the other guy, the white guy. I can't think his name. Well, supposedly, you know, they got sued by Marvin Gaye's estate because they said the song did sound. Well, that song did sound like Marvin Gaye's song. Like you got to give it up. It did sound just like it. Sound just like it. Well, now they're suing. Um, I don't know if you know this guy. He goes by the name of Ed Sharon. Okay, Sharon, Ed Sharon. He's a white guy. He's a very good singer, and I love his song. This is a song called Thinking Out Loud. Now, um, <clears throat> the suit was filed um, by the Structured Asset Sales, a company that owns one-third of the copyright to Let's Get It On. Isn't that crazy? You own one-third of it? and it's like, That's crazy, man. Let's Get It On is a hot song. But anyway, here we go. So they're saying that the, according to the lawsuit, they're saying that his song, the melody, the rhythms, the harmony, uh, the chorus, the tempo, the the sync copation is is looping into "Let's Get It On." Sit y'all ass down somewhere. Somebody smoking crack in Marvin Gaye's family, or the people that own certain rights to this song. Like y'all just sitting around waiting. On some damn money. A hundred million dollars is a lot of money. And I believe that he has it because he's made a lot of money off the song. Extremely commonplace and the similar elements to Ele uh, Let's Get It On were in the public domain and unprotectables. Listen, I, I don't know what... Y'all listen to it. To me, it don't sound nothing like no damn Let's Get It On. I think somebody's smoking crack and they need to get someone to sit their asses down. Now, it sold over 10 million, 10 million copies. So... And of course, it it it, made, it, it uh, pe peaked at number two on the Billboard uh, on 100 charts in 2014, and it's, con it's considered it's certified a di by dying by the R R I A A uh, for streaming e equivalent sales of over 10 million copies. So, listen, I, I don't know y'all. Thinking out loud, Google it. His name is Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Google it and tell me what you guys think. I don't think it sounds nothing like no damn let's get it. I don't think somebody smoking crack they get their ass somewhere to sit down. Don't sound nothing like that. Ugh. This is a mess. Anyway, we're going to move on. I'll keep you guys informed about that. They they might win. You know, Marvin Gaye's, the people who ever has the rights to that, they may win. I mean, somebody won the last time. Yeah, Pharrell and Robin, Robin Thicke. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Somebody smoke a crack. Hey, I don't care what you say. Oh, Jesus, take the wheel. Well, baby, somebody going, Jesus going to have to take the wheel, baby, because when I tell you, Mr. Leandra Johnson went in on her live Twitter page, she went in. I don't know who she mad at. If you guys know who no Leandra Johnson is, Google her. She's a gospel singer and the woman can sing. Uh, she has this song out that I just love. But anyway, she's, she's a great singer. I do believe that she got her start through Sunday's Best. Okay, and I don't keep up with Sunday's Best, but I think that's how she got her start. But she went in on her Twitter page and she was going out cuffing and everything. You know, they barred her from being at the Essence Festival. Well, I don't know why. Okay, because I'm just going to call it out like it is. You know, back in the days that the old holiness churches, uh, the holiness churches back then would tell y'all, y'all ain't got no business hanging out at the Essence Festival no way. Because there ain't nothing but sinners and saints. Sinners and saints. On top of sinners in no damn New Orleans. You know, hanging on there. And then on top of that, which I don't agree with that, but I'm just saying how the old people used to think. You know, old church folks used to think, you know, don't be a part of the world, be in the world. Because, see, they wouldn't even, like, you know, they have the gospel part of the essence, and then, of course, they have the, you know, the regular essence. And then, listen, you know, you know, the old holiness people used to teach a long time ago, come out from among them. You know, don't be a part of the, the world and stuff like that. So when you get, when you got essence, regular essence, and you're going to bring, just going to go to the regular, you're going to go to the other essence too, and you're going to mix and mingle, then a lot of old holiness folks didn't believe in that. I think it's stupid that they think that, but that, that's what they believe, you know. So something happened to her. She's going off about money, and she's going off about, you know, saying that the church is robbing po folks and ain't nobody calling the police. And she, Something happened. I don't know what happened. She's cussing and everything. But first of all, people not need to stop putting these gospel singers and these preachers up on some pedestal like, they are, they're, 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 like they're not perfect. They're human just like you and I. And I applaud Deandra for being who she is. It's a lot of gospel singers who cuss, sing, a drink, and have unprotected sex and do all other kind of stuff. Hell, when they have the the uh, Gospel Music Awards, they say they be selling liquor at the Gospel Music Awards and y'all be drinking the liquor. You know, who am I to judge? 
but she went completely in. I'm going to I'm going to play a snippet of this clip and I want you guys to listen in real good. I can't play all of it, but if you want to see the whole video, just Google Leandra Johnson. She's going to be, uh, I believe, appearing in Atlanta this weekend. So if you live in the ATL area, go and check her out. She can really, really sing, but listen to what she said.
before I can before I can have ears formed outside in this world, I was listening to you. And if I can go back, if I can go back, and if I can tell my mama not to listen to you, I tell her that. But you know, I'm gonna be the bigger person. I'm gonna be the bigger person. I'm gonna be the bigger person, and I'm gonna say this. Yeah. Yeah. I am who I am. And guess what? I always wanted to meet you. But when I met you, you was arrogant. You was arrogant. You was arrogant as a motherfucker, though, for real. But guess what, though? Right now, if I seen you walking on the side of the street, I just look at you and I nod. I nod. Period. 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 I ain't called nobody out, but I called you out. Because that's how you made me feel. Because I knew what I was birthed into. say nothing to me because of what you thought that I was mm. or who you thought I was. You ain't say nothing to me because you you didn't you didn't agree with me. And I had a talk with one of your one of your little friend boys. I had a talk. And they told me, oh he's not gonna to talk to you. I said why? Oh, because he don't believe in what you're doing. Oh, okay, that's good. You don't believe in what I can't, I'm doing. I can't I can't I can't who do are it. You? I can't do it no more. I can't maybe she went in. This should have been number one, but she went in. Listen, Leandra Johnson, honey, I'm going to tag you in this video. Let me tell you something, sweetie. You are still God's child. Sometimes you just get mad and you just want to go off on people. You just want to just say what's on your mind. And I don't have a problem with you, baby. and don't have a problem with that. Trust me, I know. Been there, done that. Just had, just experienced something in the church here in Houston. I want to let you know that you have a lot of people, especially the man up above, that still love you and don't judge you, boo-boo. And Boo Boo, if you ever decide to come over to the secular world and sing some R&B and hip hop, whatever, baby, trust me, they will, they will bring you over with open arms, open arms. This is crazy, you know. I I I applaud her for standing up, you know, saying, talking about, you know, people having abortions who are big time singers. I, the church is a mess. The people in the church, not the church, but the people in the church are a mess, y'all. Y'all know that. And I'm not saying that's everybody in the church, but it, there's some crazy stuff going on in there. She called it out. She called it out. I applaud her. I love her. I've always loved her music and life goes on. You do you, Leandra Johnson. You do you. Let's move on to number one. This one will be juicy too. Let's move on. It just seems like it's a lot of shade going on this week, baby. It's just so much going on now. This is between Tank and Tamar. I don't know if you guys heard. I know you had to be sleeping up on the bus to not hear this. I know a lot of you guys get all the, the information from me, the, the dirt and the gossip and the alleged stuff that's going on from PT. Well, here's the latest between Tank and Tamar Braxton. Well, supposedly, you know, um, this band that was with Tamar, she said she, she was on social media and she said she fired the band and she threw him under the bus supposedly. And so Tank had an issue with it. And this is what Tank had to say. So, you know, it seems like he was being a little shady with Tamar. The best band in the, in the land is with the man and all this kind of stuff. So, you know, Tamar, you know, she don't play. You know, she will go in and read for boots and for burnt, for dirt. So this is what she had to say. She goes, here's what's funny, sir. Rece receipts don't lie. I was actually there. You were not. She goes, I did this. And she said, anyone, did I, 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 attack, I didn't attack anyone. She said, you actually did. I actually think that they are nice and a talented group, but, <laughs> but however, uh, uh, this was very unprofessional to miss my show. Um, uh, I felt that I owe that I, I was owed, you know, the audience to ex an ex explanation as to why uh, they uh, they simply was just in a regular theater show. 
uh, so on and so on. And she said, she goes and she starts to read in him. She says, um, you know, how dare you? And then she gets to talking about him getting his butt ate and all this kind of stuff and pretty much saying he's a sissy and just all kind of stuff, you know. And then a lot of people on social media are saying, I can't believe Tamar Ta Ta is trying to, you know, throw homophobic slurs at him and she has a big gay follow. Uh, just a bunch of mess. I don't know. All I know is I don't give a damn what y'all think about Tank. The women still love him. He was just in Dallas doing Gay Pride Weekend and Tank don't give a damn. He about making his money. And my thing is this, you know, I hate to see, you know, I hate to see these people do this, but that's just, that's just, it goes with the territory. You know, if you say something on social media, you know, I think that, of course, I think that Tank should have inboxed her, but he didn't in inbox her. He put it out on social media, you know, and they say, you know, Tamar went in. She don't, you know, Tamar will go in. She don't care. She will go straight in, honey. And she went in. So um, we're going to keep you guys posted on here. I was trying to look on here and see if there was anything else uh, that she said, uh, but so far, nothing else. I'm just looking at the comments. As they say, I'm just here for the comments. Yeah, he says, uh, he, he, he said, here's some other things that Tank said. The people were standing around talking and recording with their cell phones are the problem. Uh, and, uh, with their cell phones are the problem. Instead of re, uh, interfer interfering uh, when something uh, was wrong, it's happening, uh, happening. You just mind your business. I'm old school. If it's a stranger or family, I see something that I know is not right going down, I'm stepping in. I'm not fearful of evil and I will not stand by and let bad intentions ride. Tamar is a friend, so I didn't come for her. Like I said originally, I'm just protecting them because I know truth. And I'm not telling people everything because you don't need to know all that. So on and so on. So just go, if you ain't, if y'all not following them on Instagram, all this stuff is on Instagram. It's a big mess. Child, all I know is I hope they get it together. Tamar, you're going to continue touring. Tank going to continue touring. And especially with the gay the gay crowd. The gay men love Tank. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's been all. That was, that was number one. It's been a crazy show today. I love you guys so much. Again, I want to send a shout out to my first people that I know of that are, that's already paid their deposit. But they paid their $25 to lock in their rate. Listen, guys. I want this to be a very successful cruise, but I can't do it without you guys. Go ahead and dial that number, 1-888-721-3225, 1-888-721-3225, and this is the booking uh, information that you need to give them. That booking information is going to be 3, P is in Paul, uh, N is in Nancy, S is in Sam, and 41, and tell them it's the PT Showbiz Cruise, leaving out of Miami on um, August the 31st. It's a seven-day cruise. We're going to be going to Grand Turk, St. Thomas, San Juan, San, and San, uh, I'm sorry, uh, San, uh, Dominican Republic. <laughs> I got to get it right. All right. So on that Friday night, uh, we're going to have a turn-up party, baby, in Miami. And if we get enough people on the ship, we're going to have our own party and our own show right there on the ship. Okay. So guys, go ahead. $25 and nothing. They give you a whole year to pay it off. Uh, they give you... Um, until next year to pay the 250 deposit. All that's refundable. Anything can happen between now and next year, even with me. So all that stuff is refundable. But go ahead. You guys have been asking about this cruise. Here it is. Let's make it happen. Again, thank you all for those who stood in line and supported my girl Lunel this past weekend. And don't forget, please, please go by J, that's J-E-Y, J Merriweather TV on YouTube and support my brother okay support him i call him my brother okay support him guys he's a great singer and i'm so glad i was blessed to be able to um be able to be a part of his music and his career now now you will be hearing some of his music in the background and when his music comes up i'll say you know i'll put in parentheses or whatever now you'll see on the screen j merriweather you know his music so go and check him out j merriweather that's j-e-y merriweather you guys take care have a great monday and i'll see you soon peace